Before we begin, ensure you have the business card publication open with the task pane displayed. Now, let's click on the color schemes heading to work with the design colors for this template. Similar to the font scheme, the color scheme also provides you with numerous options for kind of a variative experience for your templates. You can choose any one of the combination of colors to give your design a different look and feel. Take a moment to look at a few of the different color schemes available to you. If you're not satisfied with the available options, similar to the font scheme, you can also create your own custom color scheme. To do this, Click on the Create New Color Schemes link at the bottom of the task pane. In the Create New Color Scheme dialog box, they have a preview of the changes so you can see how they will affect your publication. There are three different columns in this dialog box. The first column dictates or lets you know exactly what aspect of the publication you're going to be modifying. The second row underneath Current is the current color that is applied to that first column area. The third column essentially allows you to choose any color from a multiple um, color swatch so you can apply new colors to those particular areas. To modify the colors, use the drop down arrow to the right and select from one of the color palettes. Repeat the same process for any and all of the different areas that you choose. Once completed, type a name in the color scheme name text box. Then, Click the Save button to add a new color scheme to the list of available color schemes in the task pane. Take note of the changes it applies to your current publication, as by default, it's going to apply that new color scheme to your publication. To delete any custom schemes you have created, simply mouse over the scheme, then Select the drop down arrow. Click the Delete Scheme option. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to delete this custom color scheme. If you so choose, click on the Yes button. You can use the same technique to delete a custom font scheme. Now let's take a look at the actual layout of the business card and its components. When working with Publisher, keep in mind that every added picture, clip art, text box, logo, and all of the objects are separate objects and can be modified in isolation. Even when working with templates, you can work with the objects that are applied to them as well in the same manner.